Hi everyone. To start our little ritual off with some smudge. This is, oh, I just have to smell that. This is a um, Palo Santo with uh, cinnamon infused. <clears throat> to have that beautiful combination of both scents together, it's so yummy. Um, whew. So, virtual smudge. <laughs> and the way that they do this at Sage Goddess, it helps it actually stay lit longer than it usually does for Palo Santo because usually it's going out. But I'm just going to relight that. Welcome. I'm Maggie of Maggie'sBliss.com. It is Yule Winter Solstice today and this year. December 21st, 2023. Depending on how it works out, sometimes it's 22nd. I think I saw it on the 20th once, maybe even the 23rd. So it's today. So happy Yule and happy winter solstice. I'm going to also burn, <clears throat> before we start, a little um, Dragon's Blood White Sage. Because we are embracing the light now. We've had this darkness, <laughs> at, at each day getting a little darker, a little darker, a little darker, and now we are in it. We're, after today, we're embracing the light. I just have a little gum in, in right now because I, I keep coughing. It's dry and stuff out here in Sedona. Whew. Oh, just enjoy that virtual smudge. Call this beautiful energy to you it's very grounding protective it cleanses and clears your space Whew. just taking a moment to call your energy into present time breathing deeply and this dragon's blood white sage doesn't want to go out just yet which means it's just extra needed extra loved so <laughs> we have all done with that. Um, I did pull some cards for us to start today because um, I remembered um, what's been what I've been uh, really tuning into right now is a lot of the energy of the angels is coming in, especially now, especially at this time, especially for so many, uh, bringing in and ushering in the energy of compassion and peace and hope. They come and surround us with light, with healing, with protection. Give, they give us what we need. So it's funny. <laughs> I was holding my hand to my heart. And this is what I was guided to wear today, my beautiful angel. So uh, what I decided to pull, funny, two weeks ago I had mentioned I was going to use these these cards. And I forgot last week. Or was it last week when I sat with you guys? Yeah. So healing angel cards. It's Tony Carmine, Carmine Salerno, in case you wanted them as well. Beautiful cards. So... I pulled, well, two came out. I, I don't know if I was intending to pull two or one. I think I was intending to pull one, but apparently we need two. So this first one that came out, very much so, gratitude. So here's the beautiful back of the card. Gratitude. Make gratitude your new attitude. The stars will shine brighter upon you. All in your world will become lighter as we are embracing and turning the wheel now, heading towards more and more light towards spring. We're just embracing that every day. And gratitude is high in vibration. The more you tune into gratitude, the more you call that to you, and the more it spreads in your awareness and your realm around to those you're in contact with. <clears throat> Whether it's in person or remote, it works. And it's all energy, time and space is of no essence. And now we have destiny for the other card. And that's your destiny is to blossom, to shine, to transform to an even greater light. So we're embracing the light. We're coming more and more into light. And this, this, is, marks, this day marks that. And for our, your destiny to embrace more of that light, to allow what your calling is to blossom, right? Your heart's desire. So as we approach winter solstice, right? As we are in winter solstice and on this day, this day alone, it is a moment of stillness, of rest and rejuvenation. And it's where we can 
you know, in yoga and different yogic techniques we have, when you inhale, you pause at the top of the breath and there's present stillness and magic there. And then when you exhale, you pause at the bottom of the breath and there is magic and stillness there too. So many um, folks in and you know talking about the wheel and in those traditions right we um, liken it to in autumn we are taking a huge inhale in winter we allow for that pause at the top of the breath where we feel that stillness and then as we exhale right that spring it's the exhale it's the allow your your what your percolating in winter all those things to create allowing it to finally come to fruition and to expand and blossom so we allow this time in winter to rest to be and to rejuvenate as well as to okay what am I gonna what am I thinking about creating what's my heart say and like aligning with that right but allowing yourself to rest because if you don't rest your exhale in spring will kind of sputter. It won't be as powerful and jam-packed with the blossoming that you can and you have the ability to do and be and experience. The final card is from my other deck. Um, there it is. It's behind the camera. Lemurian Starseed Oracle. So, <laughs> and I love this deck, right? And the back of the card, it's beautiful. It reminds me of Hawaii. It's a heart. It's love energy. So that always comes in and goddess Pe Pele, huh. like goddess of fire, right, in, in Hawaii. And that's very much so light. And one of the gemstones that I was guided to hold on to for our session today for Yule is a quartz, right? And it's, as you see the carvings, it is a phoenix. It's hard to see with this light, but it's a phoenix, um, but it's quartz. Oh, it's something more than just quartz. There's a few things in here, but I'll, if I remember, I'll let you know, maybe you guys know, but so the card that I pulled, of course, Quan Yin, goddess of compassion, right? So it says, shine your light. I'll show it to you in a sec. Shine your light. And it's a number seven card, which is very mystical and spiritual card. And of this time it's perfect. And it says wise action, space for grace and Quan Yin. So here we see Quan Yin. And these, the beautiful, uh, right, soft glow of light and seemingly, right, fire energy and this beautiful pink. And it looks like a dragon to me. Um, but it's, right, Kuan Yin with the dragon, a fire energy and purification. And she's holding that cup of, or the vase of flowing water and it's flowing golden liquid light out to you, to everyone. So this is a beautiful, beautiful card representative of our time today. Is there anything else? There's something else. Oh yeah, like, so there's guides. It's peace, it's tranquility, and the angels are here, and they're, they're ushering in all around you, and there's guides that are coming in, because in the direction of winter, direction of north, it is earth energy, it is tree energy, plant energy, and Oh my God, I lost my thought there. Where'd it go? It's Buddha. It's peace. It's rest. It's rejuvenation. So there's that card. So there's just a few more things to uh, chitty chat with you guys before we start our meditation, our journey. Um, so like I mentioned, in the north, so right, we have our elders and the ancestors. So those are, are coming in. They The veil was the thinnest at Samhain, right? And they came in for guiding us through that shadow part of <laughs> of the year, right? Of the wheel of the year. And now we're in winter. And naturally, naturally in the north for our ancestors who are coming in to hang out with us, to enjoy this time of peace and rejuvenation. And often when we are more peaceful, we are more connected. We're more easily able to connect to our guides, our elders, our ancestors, and hear those messages that come in. Notice the synchronicities that come to you. They, when they're around like this, they are around and send you major messages to remind you of either who they are if you knew them or just messages of things that you need to know right now. So, 
So winter's a season of wisdom. I've got some notes here for you guys. <laughs> I always forget stuff, right? So winter, the season of wisdom, retreat, rest, rejuvenation, as I said, and restoration. So it's a time of release and surrender. Um, the animals are hibernating in the winter. Nature teaches us what to do with our own energy, which is to draw on the reserves, right? To pull inward, take time, get closer with our families, eat wholesome, nourishing foods, um, and store up for spring. Um, so in the spring, we need this time because in the spring, the muse blows in and activates and it helps all from all of that rest and rejuvenation we did. It helps for us to really expand in the springtime. Um, so we are in this time outside of time th during any equinox, any solstice. We have that time of in between on in those moments, right? So today we're in this moment of stillness. And as we stand outside of time, we can really deeply reflect and ponder what do we need to transform because solstices are all about transformation. So what do we need to transform through this whole year, right? And making our way into 2024. What can we release, transform, and then feel renewed and refreshed starting in January, which by the way is when Mercury goes direct for anyone who's kind of like, shoot, Mercury is retrograde. It's, it's usually a very productive time. You get things done. If you're procrastinating on anything, Mercury says don't, and we're going to force you to handle the thing. But in, in January 2nd, I believe is when it goes direct. So we'll start to feel that. Um, of course, if if you were born during Mercury retrograde, this might actually feel real good to you. Hi, Delia. It's so awesome to see you over there in Florida where it's even warmer, I'm sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> so usually what we do, right, we are turning the wheel. So now we're turning towards you know, winter in the Northern Hemisphere and nature always balances itself out and we're torn, they're turning towards um, summer in the Southern Hemisphere. So they're embracing action and fun and we're about to rest and rejuvenate. So we're all in balance together. And so with that, to just bring together all the elements, to call them in and call in the corners, we are bringing in correspondences that align to those different um, uh, elements for the directions in earth, air, fire, and water, right? And as we do that, um, each of the seasons aligns to uh, better, uh, right, correspondence towards different elements, So, so right, with herbs and essential oils or crystals. So we'll chat about that real fast before we go into meditation, just to make sure that everyone has what they feel like they need if it's around them, right? So if you have nothing and it's just you, you're the pillar of light and you and you can always tune into the energy frequency of what I'm sharing in our circle, right? So feel free, right? That energy is being sent to you. And as we come together in a group, as such as this in this circle, it's more powerful. And it doesn't matter if you're watching in this now moment or if you're going to watch a little bit later or even tomorrow or whenever you're watching. You're in the circle outside of time and space. That's with intention. That's how I bring in um, the energy is with that intention of no matter when you're watching in your now moment, this is going to open up to you. It's powerful. I've done it with other wonderful, blessed people who have held space for me. And, and it's been in my now moment. And then, right, and I've done it for you, and, and you feel it. It's it's powerful, that energy, because really, and I've said this already on this this uh, uh, live, is time and space truly is of no essence. So let's connect when we connect, but all together as a group. So for Yule, right, the correspondences, and Yule means winter solstice. Um, and in the Old Norse tradition, it's spelled Jewel, but it's Yule. It's pronounced Yule. J-U-L-E. Um, but, and that means wheel in the Norse tradition. So winter is the final turn of that wheel. And when we can think of animals for this time of year, we think, of course, reindeer, since we know that those are real. And, <laughs> and white buffalo, squirrel, and beings like gnomes and elves will come in those sprinkles of Christmas as we've uh, evolved in in our, and my kitty's meowing, as we evolved in our um, 
um, <laughs> with Yule as we have evolved. Yeah, there we go. So we have some Yule gemstones. Um, you pick the ones that ring true to you and say, yes, that's the one I'm going to hold. And yes, she mentioned all of these other ones, but this is the one I'm going to hold. That's perfect. It has to always ring true to you in your now moment where you are because we're all in different places and spaces in our process. So the uh, ones that are commonly used for Yule, Ruby, that's heart energy, that's love energy, right? That red color. Um, ruby grows with fuchsite, so you may end up having a ruby fuchsite stone, and that's awesome. Um, the other really awesome one I have I have here, it's, um, <coughs> excuse me, obsidian. And this one was, I received from some two magical people. They grabbed this up in um, Mount Shasta. Uh, they just found some out and about and how it's so cool the way it shines in different spots. But I love that rough quality too. So it has both of that. Black obsidian is very grounding and it's one of the many black stones out there that is wonderful for winter solstice and Yule. Um, bloodstone is another good one. Garnet for the root chakra. Smoky quartz, it has that black and blackish, brownish, grayish, right? Along with the um, I think I have some here, I do. Um, along with the quartz, and it magnifies, right? So, here's some smoky quartz. And this also, because I showed you one obsidian, this is my other cold obsidian. I love my little alien meditating guy. So, um the other one that I have right here is my Celestite. Ooh. Celestite is your angel stone. And it's a beautiful color for, ooh, I just saw like an orb come out. And I was showing that to you guys. How cool. Something, something silly. Anyway, sparkly blue connects you to your angels with a little more ease, a little more peace. Ooh, that's heavy. So you can pull in those stones. I was called, like I said, to have my Phoenix Quartz Stone. I also have Amethyst because Amethyst brings peace. It's for the crown chakra, the third eye. It opens you up in your, your psychic abilities up. But I was also called to, and purple, right? Of course. I was also called to bring in this stone. Can you see it? This is the Prophecy Stone. And what better way to listen than to hold the Prophecy Stone? and hear what you need to hear for the next uh, coming year for yourself and others. Um, but of course, and I've been lately carrying this, and I showed this to you guys already in my last live, um, uh, the blue, sparkly blue is azurite for the third eye, and this is green malachite, right, for the heart chakra, divine feminine energy. So I have all of that, but you bring in what you would like. The herbs that you would love to do, um, obviously white sage is amazing and it's a transmuter, but also cedar. Cedar is very common for this time of year and it's a transmuter as well as the, um, ancient natives would, and they still do use cedar for transmutation. Many burn that instead of white sage because that's in their tradition and it, it's a beautiful clearing for your home. And yes, you guessed it. The other awesome herbs to bring in herbs and or essential oils, frankincense, Amber. Um, rosemary and nutmeg and ginger and cinnamon and pine. Pine is so common for this time of year. Where's I thought I oh okay. So pine's great because um and try this when you're just out in nature with any kind of plant or whatever, right? You can rub a little bit of the pine in your fingers to warm it up and then you can really smell it. That scent medicine comes in and I totally forgot to put this on. Or a quartz. Or a quartz. It has gold in it. Frankincense and myrrh and gold. Three gifts, right? Um, or a quartz is made with metals. So they uh, bring the quartz in <laughs> and um, it gives you that rainbowish titanium, right? Or titanium ore quartz and ore quartz. They have different ones for different things. And gold is a major part of that beautiful energy. It's transmutational alchemical energy. So those are some really cool things to bring in for your meditation today. Um, pine brings, as I was trying to say, and I don't know if I finished my thought, 
it brings peace. Naturally, it softens. So when you can just get a little bit on your skin, smell it, it naturally softens you up and brings makes you more, you know, peaceful and calm and relaxed. It's great if you have anxiety. So, um, or for any, whether you have anxiety temporarily or like if you're prone to it, right? Pine's a wonderful one to have around. So is lavender. So essential oils I am using today. Some of those herbs that I told you about are great for essential oils as well. Um, if you're looking for something that is more auspicious for this time. Um, but I am also using Yuletide Spice from, from Sage Goddess because as I always say, she is just the queen of making magical potions of essential oil blends. And this one is like many of the other ones I love by her. It's so good. So if you have something similar from someone who's made it with intention, with their powerful intention, they've called in or channeled what's going to go in there, what blends well, what smells so good for uh, winter solstice and Yule, this one's magic. So um, when you're anointing, put it on your wrist for what you do, ankles for where you go. Woo, losing my notes. <laughs> and third eye for what you know. Now you can do it up here if it feels better. And you can just, if you don't want to put any on your skin, if you're extra sensitive, just smell. Take a few deep cleansing breaths, three to seven deep cleansing breaths for each uh, set of essential oils you might be wearing today. I have tons on already. Uh, but you just breathe it in and scent takes you back. It's beyond language. It's like music. There, there's It taps into different parts of your brain and it, it connects you to the energy, the frequencies of the essential oils, of the memory that might be attached to those scents. Whether it's this life whew, or past life, so yummy. And just because I have it and today... Uh, manifesting is so good when you tune in to the messages. Happy winter solstice, Antonio. First time. Oh, lovely to virtually meet you. So, as I mentioned, so some of the other correspondences, we talked some crystals, some herbs, essential oils, and I have a little bit of a manifesting mixed mist that I'm going to just spray into the area, not towards the camera, because <laughs> I want you guys to still be able to see me. Ooh, so good. Um, Bring in what resonates with you. We've cleansed, we cleared with white sage, Palo Santo. Um, God bless you as well, Antonio. Now, I've given you a little bit of the messages. So here's where you're going to ponder what you need to transform. What are your goals for this journey? And that will be perfect. So remember what I said, Yule is the return of light starting tomorrow. We're in the in-between today and tomorrow we're going to embrace more light every day. This is the longest night of the year. Longer days are going forward. We honor the return of light, that tipping point um, that happens tonight. So real magic in this now moment and the turn to light tomorrow. So we come together in unity. Unity is represented at solstices, coming together as a collective. We hold the highest intention, highest good of all for our work. And although we recognize the shadow that we just got through, through autumn, right? Um, we want to work in the light now. And light, in, and even then, we acknowledge the shadow. We don't repress it. We allow it to rise up so that we can release it, heal, and work through it and transcend into the light. So we are, so make sure I got my, my ladder. Did I lose my ladder? I might have. I just turned Texan for a moment. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we love to talk in accents. It's just fun. So I have uh, a beautiful candle from Sage Goddess as well made for winter. It's not, it's not lighting. Oh, we have light. We have the light. Light your candle with me as we begin forth. <sighs> Paving the way towards more light. More light. So we have our candle lit. We have the stones that work for us. Um, and we begin by calling in the quarters. That's how, how we roll. That's how I roll. Um, and the gatekeeper. So we're going to ground and feel our feet into the earth. And whoo, 
we're going to work with the men medicine of light. And yes, Phoenix. And I keep seeing a beautiful little orb coming around like the angels, the fairies, enjoying this energy. Um, and just because, right, opening with sound. Sound is the element of air. And uh, every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings, yes? Now, I have to tell you, today when I was on Bell Rock during my um, hike, I hiked to like the upper parts of uh, Bell Rock and someone was ringing this bell for like a good 10 to 15 minutes and I just loved it. So cool. Yes, it's sound healing. So, um, and this reminds me very much so, again, bringing in another angel story for you. When I was, and this is actually a Sedona bell, um, when I was uh, at Crescent Moon Ranch in the river, there were uh, a group of uh, beautiful Asians. I don't want my, my um, phone to seem to get dim for a second. Um, they were in ritual. They were meditating. And it was like, a, instead of like the chants that you might hear from the monks where it has that deep root chakra, low resonant sound, this was high, like crown chakra and above tones that they were offering out in their ritual along with this bell. And I just stood in the middle of the river listening, enjoying being in that moment. And then I looked up and there was this beautiful angel as tall as trees. And I literally just told the story last week to my tour out here, my healer healing uh, vortex tour. Um, but high in vibration, very healing. So all parts of the world in all parts of this world, there are thousands upon thousands uh, celebrating Yule and winter solstice, um, like, like a Stonehenge, right? Um, so enjoying the stars and the return of the sun, it's rebirth now. So now, do, 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 do. and another very common tradition for Yule is the Yule log. So that's why you may see, like, yeah, I've seen even like um, ice, cr uh, ice cream, uh, ice cream cakes. <laughs> made in, in the shape of a Yule log and honoring that light. So we're going to light the fire and journey today. So this is where we're going to determine what is it that we need to release to transform. As we close 2023, what do we need to let go of? We are transcending, moving into 2024. Um, allow the energy of this circle that I'm going to start opening very soon in the next couple minutes and, and allow it to just fuel you and energize you with love, light, and healing. So I think we're ready to begin. I think I said all the things. Any questions, you just let me know. Do, do, do. Oh, another uh, stone real quick is a pate tear. That is a very grounding stone, and it's the morning stone. So if you're missing someone, that's a beautiful one to help you send your grief into the stone and then into the earth. Um, so here we go. Uh, when we start, wait a minute. Where, where are we? Here we go. Now, my kitty's meowing, so I'm going to let him in before I start the meditation so that he doesn't interrupt it. One second, guys. He may or may not hear me when I say I'm starting now, but it's nice, and and it's possible he might not like my singing bowl. Today I have with me um, my quartz singing bowl for the Soul Star. Sometimes I have them all. Sometimes I pull out just a few, whatever I'm guided to. And today it was just the Soul Star. Oh, thank you, Antonio. Um, so I will be using this sometime during our journey. Um, Who? Just using it now. Call your energy into present time. And we're going to start our journey. Have your stones, if you'd like, either in your palms. And I love it when they touch my skin. You really get in more of that energy. But you can have them near you too. Or if you're laying down, maybe you want them on your skin, like on your chest. I love my heart chakra having at least one stone there. Maybe on your third eye. To really tune in to those frequencies and vibrations of those stones. Now, let's begin. I'm going to turn my music up. 
the soothing, calming music that we have along with our bowl. So take a few moments to close your eyes now. Have your palms facing up in a nice open, receptive position, telling the universe that you are ready to receive. Ground your energy into Gaia. Connect to the divine. God, God is the divine, that source creator that created us to be here now. With your eyes closed, take a few deep cleansing breaths, breathing fully and deeply in through the belly, the diaphragm, the lungs. Gently, slowly release, exhale. Allow the breath to descend back down to the bottom of your belly. Inhale, allow the breath to fill you up, your prana, life force, energy, every cell of your being. Exhale, release, let go. And when you're ready, another deep cleansing breath, breathing in the light, the love, the peace. And exhaling, releasing the light, love, and peace out to the world. We call in the great guardians, angels, archangels, gatekeepers, elementals, and fairies of the highest frequencies of vibrations, highest and my divine source, creator, love, light, energies, and yours. To please come forth, beginning in the east, element of air, Archangel Raphael in new beginnings resides here. The breath of life. Archangel Raphael is of the green ray energy. See this beautiful green ray energy as a beautiful light of flame filling you up and turning clockwise to south element of fire. Archangel Michael of the electric blue ray resides here. This is the phoenix, the snake, the transformation, transmutational, purification energies, the courage, the light. See Archangel Michael's beautiful electric blue flame now filling you up, filling your aura up. We turn now to west, element of water, purification, healing and cleansing, asking that we flow like the tides no longer resisting, just flowing. Archangel Gabriel resides here of the diamond white ray energy. Feel this beautiful diamond white flame filling you up, cleansing you, filling your aura. We turn clockwise to north, element of earth, the winter season. Archangel Raphael resides here. Ar Archangel Uriel resides here. Uriel is of the beautiful red flame energy. Allow this red flame energy fill you up with its light, its love, its passion. Also in the north is our ancestors, ancient ones. We invite those only who have done the work, crossed into light, or in healed space. We also invite in our future luminous self from 10,000 years in the future to be here now. We invite in Archangel Sindolf and Archangel Huasca, Goddess Hecate of the underworld, of the lower world. The Christ grid, Buddha consciousness, galactic central sun above us. Archangel Metatron, Archangel Pachacuti, and of the Middle World, Archangel Quetzalcoatl, Archangel Shemuel, bringing love into our sacred container. Seven angels, archangels, gatekeepers, all around us, above us, below us, within us, as above, so below, as within, so without, creating this high vibrational sphere of light and love and protection. Anything positive or negative that would do us harm is not allowed to flow near. Begin to beautifully 
wonderful. You feel and experience and see through your mind's eye in your left hand a beautiful bright white light four to five inches in diameter surrounding your left hand. Feel its warmth. Your hand may tingle. Now, imagining all of us in this now moment, no matter what time, no matter what place, all here together outside of time and space, in a circle, and from your left hand begin to send that beautiful bright white light into the right hand of the person next to you, flowing up their arm into their heart chakra, the center of their entire being, the portal to the universe. Allow that light to flow up and down all of their chakras and going out their left arm, out their left hand into the person next to them and begin to see that light going all the way around the circle through every person, through every heart chakra, every heart center, making its way all the way around and back into your right hand, right arm, into your heart chakra, and filling all of your chakra centers, your entire being up, and flowing back out your left arm, your left hand. Begin to see the light speed up, almost as fast as the speed of light, going around the circle faster and faster and faster, encompassing, encompassing us, the collective, this beautiful group all the way now, this beam of light now is what it looks like, it starts to expand up and down. It flows down below our feet, creating a sphere below us, a dome underneath us, and the same up and over our heads, creating this beautiful sphere of energy, light, and protection. Here in this beautiful circle, we are outside of time and space. Feel your body relax and melt, your muscles melt, your shoulders relax, each breath taking you deeper and deeper into relaxation. Soon everything around you is bright and white, as if a portal has transcended. Soon everything becomes clearer as you are cleansed and purified. You find yourself in a magical forest filled with the tallest, largest sequoia trees. They are wide, six feet wide, 20 feet in diameter even, and even bigger, many of which have beautiful openings where you can stand inside the trees. You walk and you notice why it was so bright because the sun is beaming its light on the forest floor where there is a fresh snowfall, sparkling, glittering, white winter light. As you walk, you can hear the silence of winter, the beautiful serenity and peace, the extra peace that comes from a fresh snowfall. Hmm, there's nothing to do, nowhere to be, just being here right now, breathing. You may decide to walk and hear the crunch of your feet in the snow. You may even decide to tap into the element and the energy of joy and create beautiful angels. You might lay down in the snow and wave your arms out wide, your legs out wide, back and forth, so you create your beautiful angels in the snow. You begin to notice the beautiful song of the cardinals, the red cardinals, and other beautiful birds. You stand and continue to walk. Amazingly, you are warm to the core. In this peaceful, natural setting outside, you feel the warmth of the sun on your skin. As you continue to walk, you soon come to the beautiful fire in the forest. Safely surrounded by stones, the fire burns bright, and there are beautiful logs in a circle around the fire, inviting you 
to sit by the fire and enjoy the beautiful snow flurries still falling. The energy of the sequoia trees, you may see the aura, the energy expanding and feel it connecting with you. You notice by the fire there's kindling that has been gathered so that you may continue to throw in more leaves, more sticks to enjoy the warmth of the fire, but also for our ritual today, keep some nearby. The fire lights up your world. Some of these beautiful pieces of kindling are wood for your magical wands. The fairies are nearby and they help with this transformation of this beautiful, magical time. <sighs> Enjoying the light shining on the snow-covered ground and trees, sparkling in the light. Here in this sacred time outside of time, surrounded by nature, there are others who are coming to sit by the fire with you now. They are gathering around this fire. Notice who joins you. The ancestors, your loved ones, the angels, your elders, they naturally surround you during this time of Yule. They are more present now. Notice who they are. What do they look like? Ask for more clarity in your vision at this time. If they are showing up a little blurry, make them clear. Crystallize them in your vision. Your ancestors may be of the earth your tribe elders, human in form, or even from other planets you have lived in prior lives, your other lives, the multiverse. So notice if they are star being in form or simply energy. Here by this fire, ask for the messages of what you need to let go of what you need to change and transform in order to come into better alignment with your soul in 2024. Be open to this guidance and receive the wisdom, so much wisdom here surrounding you and within you because next to you is your higher self. They know you better than you know yourself and they have wisdom to show you now that you are ready to see, feel and experience Hold one of the pieces of kindling that in your lap as you listen to their guidance. What you are meant to release, allow the energy of that into this kindling, into this piece of wood. Send it all. Some of you may decide you'd rather have a stone and, and, and fill that up with what you are releasing. What are you ready to let go of? What do you need to release? You may already know. Your heart always knows the truth. And sometimes we need to just hear it. We need to hear the messages from our guides and say, all right, I get it now. As you listen, be quiet for a few moments.
healing you, cleansing and purifying you. There is no pain, only beautiful, transformative energy, a chemical energy. Allow the fire to fill up your arms, to fill up your being, your body, your legs, your head. You are the rising phoenix, embracing the light version of you. You are light. You are attuning to the beautiful healing energies. Becoming more of the healer that you are. Cleansing and healing you on a physical level as well as mental, emotional, and spiritual. of wood as you hold it the energy from the angels is infused the beautiful fairy comes over with their little magical wand sprinkling their fairy dust over your magical wand they offer you gifts of crystals that you may place on your piece of wood your wand with intention. Perhaps some with points will be on either end of it. Wands help focus and send energy. They disperse energy and they anoint with both ends of the wand. The energy will be moving out of your hands through both ends. You may have found a wand that is all crystal with one point on either end in your pile. Hold this wand with your intention now. Your own body is a, a magical wand. All energy raised, we will be sending to of your intentions for 2024. For me, it often is held in one word as we approach and enter 2024. And for me this year, I will be attuning to the beautiful word of joy for 2024. What is your word? What is the energy that you'd like to hold in 2024? Is it peace? Is it excellent health? Is it love? Is it passion? What is your word? What is the energy that you are bringing into 2024? An eight year. We leave this year and we embrace the new. Holding your magical wand now where the fairies and the angels have placed any crystals and stones on your piece of wood. They're affixed and conjoined now together as one. It may transform in your hand as you wish it to be the form and shape of your desire. Holding your wand, 
hold the intention of peace first and love and healing energy visualize the energy leaving the part of this circle you send it to everyone in this circle first sending that energy into the circle of peace love healing joy upliftment what would you like to send excellent health release rejuvenation upliftment high vibration and as you send it out to the circle all of us now send it out to those who are suffering in their families to those who need it most around the world sending it out now ponder those people those places where they need it most now send peace send love send healing send joy We are all deserving of abundance and love, joy, peace, tranquility, financial upliftment as well. All is energy. Imagine the earth being sent this energy as well. Healing any parts where the earth is suffering. Imagine the earth engulfed in this beautiful energy of light and love. You may even see it in bright white light around the globe. Bright purple violet flame light. Transmutational light. Angelic light. Send it out. Our intentions are powerful and it is felt. It is experienced by those. The power of prayer is real. That love you send out to those you are with, those your family, those who are your soul tribe, and those around the world. It is felt. It is experienced. For the highest and best good of all always, we send peace, love, and healing, and joy. Allow the energy to leave now directing it to those areas and people, families, places. And I intend that they feel a blessing of healing peace and hope. Feel the peace within you and send it. All of us collectively sending is powerful. This is powerful. It builds on itself synergistically, that energy. Directing the energies to those who need it most. They are felt. And it comes back one thousand fold. Knowing that you are a part of this beautiful world and you are deserving as well. And you're sending this energy to yourself as you are sending it out, you receive. And from my heart to yours, sending love, peace, tranquility. Thank your guides, your angels archangels, the elders, all those who came with messages for you during this powerful transformational time. Know that in the days and weeks to come, transformations are ahead. You may see more messages and synchronicities in your day-to-day -day life and in dream time and in future meditations. As we hold in this sacred space those stones that you have brought to you with you in this journey for this ritual hold them in your hands and blow into them asking the elders the ancestors your tribes your angels all those who have come to send anything that you are not ready to hear now send it into the stones that energy the frequencies the vibrations of that wisdom and as you blow it is felt and sent into your crystals gemstones Ask that it be filled up with this energetic wisdom that you need 
and be revealed to you in perfect time. We thank all who have come as it is time to take our leave. They will be here whenever you need when you begin to walk back in the snow the way you came. Feel in the sequoia trees with their magic. You may linger and perhaps hug a tree, grounding yourself, placing your third eye against the tree, connecting to nature. As the tree sends its roots deep into Gaia, you send yours and all the energy that has been raised in this circle. You make your way back, back into your body, into this present now moment where we release the circle. We release all the guides, angels, archangels, gatekeepers, and elementals and fairies who have come to be with us. From the middle world, the upper world, the lower world, we release you from the direction of north west, south, and east, we release you. Envision now that circle counterclockwise. It is leaving your body that light, leaving your body out your right hand, and going all the way around the circle as it is being released through all of the people, making its way back into your hand, your left hand. And as you hold the energy of the circle in your hands, turn it now down to Gaia, down to Mother Earth, for that energy to be sent, transmuted into pure light and sent around the world for all those who need it most now, as well as yourself. Opening your eyes when you're ready. hope that journey was beautiful, as beautiful as it was for me. I felt a lot of healing energies from Reiki, the angels, everything. All of the healing energies of the universal life force just flowing through, through me, through all of you who are watching now. And when you watch in the future, it's opening for you in that now moment. So we all come collectively together in that way. Have an amazing rest of your day, your Yule day, and a Merry Christmas, and a Happy Holidays, and Happy Hanukkah, and a Happy Kwanzaa, and all the things. <laughs> I'm forgetting some, I'm sure. Um, I may see you when we approach our New Year's Eve and a, in a weekish, a week and a half. But um, what I want to say is next year, it's an eight-year numerology, so we leave the seven-year into an eight-year of magic, manifestation, as above, so below and infinity right yes merry christmas and uh as we approach that think about what energy you'd like to bring into that as i was mentioning during the journey what energy you want to bring into this new year and embracing that as you rest during winter and then springtime will come and flow now we do have our cancer full moon coming on the 26th the day after christmas and that will bring with it more emotion. You might feel it on Christmas, right? Because we often feel the full moon the day before, day of, day after, as well as even sometimes three days before, three days after. So we're feeling it. We're in it. We're about to approach that energy. And Cancer is a nourishing, nourishing, nurturing energy that um, is uh, like mother being held energy, right? So, and it's the element of water. So it may bring more like just crying and all of that wonderfulness just hug your family hug your loved ones ah your star sign is cancer and um there's so much that goes into our astrology chart but when it's in our sun side it's your life as who, are, who you are becoming and who you are right you become the more wiser uh cancer as you flow through your life very divine feminine energies love it so have an amazing beautiful rest of your yule merry yule Happy winter solstice, blessed be in Renee.